What up guys, Braz here, and uh, today I'm going to be doing my, continuing my Master, Master City Master League. Uh, as you saw the last episode, I drew with Reddy, and I beat Middlesbrough 1-0 and 1-0 one -one respectively. And today against Arsenal, we're totally got that Middlesbrough mentality and able to be able to beat them. Uh, you know, they're a big side. The last time we went against a big side, Chelsea, we lost 1-0. But we should be able to recover, and realize how how good of a team we are so yeah let's see the lineup so i've decided to bench sturge in this game um because you know he's young i think i could use him as a super sub he's on good form today on excellent red form today um putting in some other players instead like um sunji high i think he's making his debut today uh hammond making his debut in this season at least today and uh alan making his first start he played in the last game he came in as a cameo Hopefully he could uh, create something important today. And yeah, let's begin the game. So in the last second, I changed uh, the the players that are playing this game right now. Oh my God, double shots! This is my point, actually. No, it's not. But anyways, I changed the last players. Matthew Moses coming in instead for instead of Richard Dunn. Or Sylvia and Distin because you know I just not been happy with these two lately. And uh, I feel like these other two could offer something new. Tossing a little bit forward, pressure in Manchester City a little bit. That's what you want to do. You want to do that all the time. Very important. Square is to pressure in this game. I'm actually using D pad. I'm using the keyboard. I'm using the keyboard for past 13, but now I'm changing it. I'm using the D pad, even though it's much, much easier to use the, the, the controller instead of the, instead of the keyboard. This is key. Great save. <sighs> over the bars. I'm going to skyed it over. Man, I can't believe it. Should have been 1-0 for Arsenal. Now the last question is just going to play off the player again. It's a foul. Yes, it's a foul we deserved. Takes it to the oh, Yes! What a goal by Trevor Sinclair. And Manchester City thinks takes a lead. This guy has probably been our best player this season. As of right now, he's just incredible. Great header, great assist from Jay Brown. 1-0 for Manchester. The Manchester Blues. Oh, we're gonna start the game. Really, this, this lead can really help us. Uh, Sturridge left him on the bench because I want the team to uh, want some super subs just in case we started losing or like a tie or something. But we're winning. And that's more than good. Put some of those boost the ball forward to. Thierry Henry is not going to go anymore, he's going to go to my young defenders. Amuahua, Sinclair, Matthew Mills, it's great to get an early goal. Hopefully we don't give it away like we did against the, uh, against Reading. Boy, time slew, slide tackle there, I think it's a free kick, it's going to be a card. He's getting a warning from the ref. It's good, good. Cole, so we're actually playing left back in this game. Understand why, but I'm not gonna ask. Oh, it's gonna be a great switch of play. And the uh, Sauras. Uh, there is for sale. Yes, another one. Great goal. I think that's the Marcus Beast man. It's 2 0 for Mercer City. Man, Arsenal is going through shambles this season, and we're proving them why. It's just scary to play against us now. This is the real MVPs. Alright, so, so let's to make it through before the half. Oh, oh my god, hit the crossbar. That should have been three. Arsenal looking at to be three goes down. The corner kick. Yep. Oh no! Come on. Oh, 
should have a good chance. And it's half time. We're in the game 2 0 thanks to the Marcus Beastly and Trevor Sinclair. Ingo Arcanese has picked up an injury. I think we'll take him off in the second half. We'll see what we can do. So I've put in Stephen Ireland, Stephen Ireland, whatever you want to call him. I put him in for the Marcus Beastly. Marcus Beastly has a minor injury. I think he's going to be out. For, I mean, he's not, not like I'm forced to take him out, but I don't want to risk him because he's an important player for right now. Gonna be out for a couple of days. I can already tell you that. Uh, so yeah, I've put in. Uh, I put in uh, the youngster Stephen Ireland, 18 year old, for him instead. Bayor is outside. He's in front of his teammate. Bayor. Bayor is Stephen Ireland. Showing Arsenal players what, is, what they do here. Oh, he's outside. He's outside. He's outside. Three easily. Lundberg's coming in for a ball way. Arsenal are really looking to find a way to win this game. Like, uh, I want to get a goal like before the half ends or something. No, not sorry, before. Yeah, before the half ends, actually. Same thing. On Ray. We got a chance back. I'm going to find that, but Michael Richards, the youngsters in the back. Matthew moves Michael Richards. He played really well today. Really good. Really impressed with their performance. And they missed Hedder by the way. Sinclair trying to get the substitutions here. Karate and Stark instead. For the Sistrak is in the top right now. This is key. Oh, this is a play. But I just can't break this down, I'm telling you. Struggling to go against the likes of Manchester City. Weak mess inside. On the table in the world. Foul, I think. Oh, offside. <laughs> this is even worse for the. It'll be a yellow card from Matthew Mills. We'll take that card. Steroids are karate coming in. Hopefully, he could add another goal to this game. For us, at least. Not for them. Let's go play. Go to Manchester City. This was Karate's debut this season for Manchester City because I don't think he's he plays. He's outside. He's outside. Arsenal Van Purse is coming in. Arsenal slump continues this season as they're looking for another defeat. Three minutes are out of time, but we want Arsenal to win this game, but we're gonna realize that they can't. Seems just way too good. Oh, almost forcing Cal to make a mistake at the back. And it's over. Arsenal moves to us, the Manchester City boys. 2 0 thanks to the Marcus Beasley and Trevor Sinclair in the first half as we take the W once again. Uh, the other results, uh, Bolton beats West Ham. Oh, it's a Baltimore, Newcastle draw. Fulham draws with West Ham. Liverpool beats Reading. Main line to humiliate Spurs 4-0. That's our next corner right there, Spurs. Hopefully we, they could be in that bad mood and then maybe we'll take advantage. Anyways, Chelsea beats Tazel Wigan 0-0, Middlesbrough beats Blackburn 1-0, 1-0, Aston Villa is defeated by West uh, for, by Everton, one goal to nil. So it looks like Beast is going to be out for uh, one week, probably going to miss this game, I mean I could risk playing him in this game, but I'll probably play him for like the first half or something, but 
in general, I thought our performance was pretty good today. Uh, last match against Arsenal, 2-0. Good victory against them. Uh, victory against the big side as well. Um, very good performance from the youngsters at the back. Very good from the Marcus Beast and Carlos Sinclair, the wingers. And yeah, I'm really trusting these young players. Uh, Trevor Sinclair not the youngest anymore, 33, 34 years old. But uh, everyone else around him, you know, just seems to be sinking in. The players I tried in today, Onohua, Matthew Mills, you know, they played well. And I think they're going to start next, this game against Tom Hill. If you guys like the series, please comment, like, and subscribe. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.